Hello, we have here a cytology sample taken from normal salivary gland and um, at low magnification we can see that there is a very nice rigid uh, repetitive pattern of these rounded acinar structures almost like a bunch of grapes and this is very helpful in recognizing normal benign salivary gland parenchyma. Sometimes we can also see this adipose stroma and blood vessels running through and this uh, vascular and adipose stroma again. These are helpful features in telling us that we are dealing with just normal or benign salivary gland parenchyma. Here we can see very very clear a uh, bunch of grapes appearance of these well-formed salivary gland SNI. The closest uh, differential diagnosis perhaps would be acinic cell carcinoma where we would generally not see such well delineated uh, grape-like SNS structures. On higher magnification, we can see that the cells have very low NC ratios. There is uh, abundant cytoplasm which appears to be quite flocculent or granular, quite loose, and the nuclei are generally round and very uniform. On the alcohol fixed smears, we can again see this uh, very beautiful appearance like a bunch of grapes and in this instance we can see blood vessel and we can actually see uh, a duct here as well. So it is very helpful if you can see physiological structures within the whole lobule, both SNI as well as ducts. Here is a blood vessel and a bunch of SNI and in this region and this region we can actually see a small duct. We don't always see ducts in association with SNI, only if the entire lobule is plucked out, but uh, we can recognize the duct by a honeycomb appearance of cuboidal, very uniform cells. And here is another example of an intact lobule with the SNI structures and a duct. Sometimes the ductal cells can actually appear somewhat oncocytic, but uh, in oncocytic lesions such as a Warthin tumor, the architecture is that of large flat sheets, which is different from this. And also in oncocytoma or oncocytosis, usually you would get nests of oncocytic cells rather than this kind of lobules and with a central duct. And here is another example of a higher magnification view of these normal SNI and a duct. Sometimes we can also see uh, intact single SNI in the background or even SNI cells which may just sometimes appear as bare rounded nuclei. So here are some pictures and we can see that there is a very prominent adipose stroma, these very well-formed bunch of grapes uh, like SNR structures. And again here, in this instance, there also happens to be a duct. So if the history is that of a discrete nodule, then um, this would actually have to be diagnosed as non-diagnostic in the Milan system because this does not explain a discrete or well-defined mass. And the histology of normal salivary gland, this is seromucinous glands or with the serous cells, mucinous cells, and uh, we have here the striated duct. So this duct actually corresponds to the ducts that we see on cytology. And even on histology, you can appreciate a somewhat oncocytic appearance. And as a final point, just to compare an example of acinic cell carcinoma, and we can see that in acinic cell carcinoma, there is a vague hint of an acinic architecture, but it is not as well defined as normal salivary gland parenchyma, and also that uh, fatty adipose vascular stroma is also usually missing. If you look at the cytomorphology, the nuclei would be larger in general, and the NC ratios also may be somewhat higher.